Okay, so we're back and we're about to make our dressing for our Sunday or Easter dinner. So this is old school dressing, so we're using cornbread. Let's get a knife and, well, let me let you see it before. It's cornbread and we're just going to cut it up and put it in the bowl. I always make too much, so I'm pretty sure I have too much this time as well. I can save half of this for another time. This is going to be way too much bread. <laughs> okay, so then you just break up your bread. Normally you can do this with your hand or if you're wearing gloves, but I don't. Uh, this is really hot, so we're not going to be trying that. So we're just going to break up our bread. Of course, for the dressing, we have our additional greenery. We've cooked it in the cornbread, and then we have extra here. We have our uh, oil. You can use butter or margarine. You know I don't eat butter. A little salt here. Of course, black pepper, accent, and the rub sage. And that's all you need to make this absolutely, di oh, and the stock. <laughs> delicious and I'm going to have to um, get something to put that in I can move this over I'm going to have to normally I would dip it but it's fairly cool so I'm going to try and pour that pour some in here um, if your pot isn't hot I mean isn't cool don't try that and it's just kind of you do it in stages. I already have my turkey legs and wings over here to the side. Let's see if I did I take it up too far? And you just keep adding your stock oops, as you go along. Kind of have to hold that lid in place. Sometimes you'll get a little of that extra that you don't want in there, and you can just dip that out. And then you're just going to mix it up. You want it to be not soupy, soupy, but you definitely don't want it to be dry. And as you're doing it, as I am like right here, you can decide if, like for me, I have a whole nother half over here of bread. So I'm going to add some more because I'm going to freeze some of this. Bread is really hot. So... I like to freeze it because I don't always cook this uh, dressing, maybe twice a year. Oops. <laughs> so when I do make it, because I like it so much, I like to make enough to freeze. And then maybe another day I might make me some wings, you know, in the oven and then just like regular chicken wings and then I'll have this to go with it. So always make a little extra if you like it and you don't make it often. Um, it's just a good idea. I think this is enough. Add some more juice of our stock here. And you just do it in stages so you don't get too much in there at once. Happy Easter to all of you. This uh, old school cornbread dressing is good anytime. <laughs> it doesn't have to be Easter or Christmas or any special occasion. It does take a bit of extra work because you have to cut up all these little goodies here. And some people use a chopper. Um, reminds me of my sister. But um, I tend to do it with my hand. <laughs> so it takes me a while. And um, I was just watching Jesus of Nazareth while I was cutting it up. So. But you just add whatever greenery you want, celery, bell pepper, green onion. I'm not real big on celery. When I'm making it for everyone, I add it because everyone else likes it. And then I'll separate it and take mine to the side because I don't really like it. Although the last time I made it, I did eat it. I had it so fine, though, you know, they couldn't taste it. 
and make sure I keep the view in, in place so you can see what I'm doing. Now I have a spoon over here because you'll have to taste it as well. Be careful with your salt, especially if your stock is salted. I have the, um, let me turn this oven off. I have the air on, I was gonna say, but it doesn't feel like it. So the thing about these big meals like this is it's kind of an all day thing for some of us. Some people cook really fast. I don't know how, <laughs> but I don't. So probably because I'd be doing it in stages, like I'll go and do something else. And, and you can only go as fast as the food will cook. That's the other thing. One of the things I like about video is I don't have to, um, you know, just be on the whole time because you get to break away and come back and then record either by additional whatever or making a whole nother video or continuing depending on. Now you always want to use a fork so it doesn't get that kind of um, bubble gum, whatever, going on. Yeah, it doesn't feel like the air is on in here at all. <laughs> I know it is, but it doesn't feel like it. It's a very rich dish, cornbread dressing, so keep that in mind as well. And remember, you can add as little or as much of this that you like. I'm not real big on the bell pepper as much, but I do include it because it's part of it, and that's how we were taught growing up. I also have a turkey leg in here that I'm going to add because I like meat in my dressing. And I usually do giblets but I forgot about them. <clears throat> and I had been to the store like uh, three times, I think. I was not going back again. I was like, okay, well, we just won't be having any giblets. I'll just use one of these turkey legs. So that's what we're going to do. Now we're gonna get ready and taste this because you don't wanna get too far into it without tasting it. And then you'll know, you know, where you are. So like that doesn't have nearly enough salt. <laughs> if you can't stand this, close your eyes. <laughs> Some people don't like, uh, they like their food kind of bland. I'm not one of those people. This is a rich, like I say, a rich dish and it's heavily seasoned, but man, is it delicious. If for some reason you're making it and you put too much salt, always have some extra cornbread. That way you can add that in and it'll soak it up. If for some reason you run out of stock, like when you're not using a whole turkey, you don't have as much stock, and you can just add a little water. But add it before it gets too low. Because once it's too low, you won't get any um, of the flavor. And like I said, if you get any of that little extra that you don't want in it just you know I'm trying to make sure you can see I think we have enough liquid now it's about the way you want it to be get it on your finger just eat it off <laughs> I don't know what to tell you This is going to be so good. I will have plenty to freeze. 
and I'm going to eat some of it today because I didn't make any dinner for today. So I'm having one of the wings and I'll have some of this dressing. And I cannot wait to get into it. <laughs> so let's try it again. You see, once it gets going, it doesn't take so long. Mm, man, that's good. That is so good. Now, we're going to have one more little piece of bread to it. Bread's warm, I mean, cool down some, so you can kind of um, use your hands. It's just like tripping. <laughs> it's too close to the edge for one thing. We'll put in the rest of this green onion and a little of the bell pepper. And a little more of the stock. I hope you can see me, what I'm doing. And just use your fork to break up the bread. Especially if you go back and add it like I just did. Now, let's see, we need to get this meat and cut it up. So, just push this back. Let's see if we can get this turkey leg out of here. And hope it's not too hot. I'm gonna have to have a spoon for this. Maybe the spatula is better because. That way I don't get all that extra juice. I always leave a little meat also for my gravy. So I'll leave um, a little white and dark meat for my, you know, your giblet gravy or whatever kind of gravy you're making. this turkey leg, take out the bone and the little gristles. I could have used two legs in here, but we only had three and they're not that big, so we're gonna only put one in here. And I'm just cutting this up to add to the dressing. As you can see, I've cut up the turkey and we're just gonna add that in. Back that up a little. And this makes it even better when you add the turkey in. At least that's my experience. <laughs> and everyone who eats it, they're like, oh my gosh, your dressing is the bomb. Dot com. That's right. It is. You see all that good turkey in there? Mm. You know it's going to be good. I'm going to move our little greenery pan over here and get our last little bit of broth.
and um, let's clean up some of this. We're going to leave some of the broth for our gravy because, as I said, I add the meat, but I also add some of the broth to my gravy. And that just takes it to a whole nother level. Now, can you see what I'm doing? Oh my goodness, this is going to be so good. I already know it. I don't even have to ask you. Look at that deliciousness. Can you see that? Make this, you, your family's gonna be like, oh my God, I didn't know you could get down like that. <laughs> For real. Just look at all that deliciousness. Occasionally a little stem gets in there, just pull that out. Hope you can see the beauty of this. Look how beautiful that is. Mm. Now, I'm not going to bake all of this tonight because I like my food fresh on the holiday. So I will just leave this in the bowl and in the morning I will bring it around. Another reason why you want to have some of your stock left because you're going to need it to bring this around in the morning. So. Add a little more pepper and uh, let's do another taste test. My paper towel. But I already know it's the bomb.com, darling. I already know. Mmm. That is so good. Mm. I can't even tell you how good that is. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy good. I might go ahead and bake it. And then I won't have to do anything tomorrow. So that's about the way you want it to look. You see it has juice still, but it's not too much juice. And it's barely, <laughs> a good thing we stopped, excuse me, because this bowl wouldn't take any more. <laughs> so we got just enough, but we're gonna take some of this out and we are going to make a little sample. Not really a sample because it's just something I'm going to be eating. Um, why do you keep doing taste tests? Because it tastes so daggone good. <laughs> I just want to eat it. I just want to eat it. That's why. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, that is crazy good. So there you have it. Homemade dressing cornbread dressing, old school. Like back in the day. And it is delicious. Lord. For real. Okay, where's my towel? Me and the organization, I know. So, that's it for the dressing. As I said, we're going to bake it. Maybe I'll go ahead and bake it. What do you think? One of the reasons I consider baking it is I have limited space in my refrigerator. It's also one of the reasons I don't bake it. So that's what it looks like. So if you pull that back and you can see it. That's our homemade cornbread dressing. It'll be ready to bake now or tomorrow. I haven't decided which one. And um, I will come back and show it to you whenever I bake it. So happy Easter. 
make you some cornbread dressing. It is thebomb.com. So good, I can't even tell you. Oh my goodness. Wish you could taste it. Should be like taste a vision or smell a vision or something. Because this is delicious. And now all we have to do is bake it. Okay, it's me, Sharon, with Finger Licking Dishes. And um, I spilled some over there, so I was trying to hide that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go now, and uh, we will be back with the finished product, which is the baked turkey legs, turkey wings, and the dressing, which I put all together in one pan and bake it together. And then we'll make our plate tomorrow, of course. We're not going to make the mashed potatoes today. And the sweet potato souffle. So I think I'll just wait and bake all of it tomorrow, and then I'll come back and show you. Happy Easter. Bye.